Draka Intercontinental title, the super light heavyweight, 10 rounds of action. Sean McCulley of the United States with a record of 13 and one. Look at his numbers, 183 pounds. He hails from right here in the United States. Sean McCulley, California amateur middleweight champion. Well, he's, he's fighting kind of heavy right now, 183, so we'll see if that affects him at all. I mean, he's been fighting as a middleweight, but uh, he's going up in weight a little bit for this Draka style of fighting. McCulley got to the arena a couple of hours ago, seemed so calm, so cool, sort of walked in, just very casual, almost as, uh, as if he were just here to watch the fights tonight. But as the uh, minutes ticked away and uh, we got closer to fight time, you, you saw the intensity begin to register in McCulley's face. He's got uh, only 13 uh, bouts, and, you know, that's about half what his opponent has. And so he's, he's a little um, uh, underexperienced compared to his opponent. And his opponent tonight from Russia. They have fought once before, Ramazan Ramazanov. And you're absolutely right, Don. He's got 28 professional fights. McCulley waiting for Ramazanov to make his entrance. And here comes Ramazanov. 25 wins, three losses, and a draw. 18 of those 25 wins by knockout. And he holds the belt that McCulley would like to have. The super light heavyweight intercontinental championship belt. Well, he won the last time, and I'm sure he's very confident. As we said, in these rematches, um, although the whoever won the fight the first time does have a certain amount of confidence, but the drive and the fire in the challenger is just that much more hotter because of the loss. So uh, it could be counteracted here. Ramazan Ramazanov and Sean McCulley. And let's go to Steve Fossum for the introductions of tonight's first fight. Ladies and gentlemen of the forum, it's Draka time. This bout will be for the worldwide Draka Intercontinental Super Light Heavyweight. It is a rematch between these two fine fighters. In the black shorts, weighing in at 183 pounds, with a kickboxing record of 13 wins, one loss, no draws with 10 of those wins by knockout. He is the UFCF Pan Craze middleweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Sean McCulley. McCulley's only loss occurred about 60 days ago to the man who is standing on the opposite side of that ring tonight. And wearing blue shorts tonight, weighing in at 184 pounds with a record of 25 wins, three losses, one draw with 18 wins by knockout. He is a three-time world free sparring champion, and he is the current Draka Intercontinental Super Light Heavyweight Champion from Russia in the blue corner, Ramazan Ruthless Ramazana. Your referee for tonight's bout is Mr. Marcos Rosales. Marcos Rosales calling both fighters to the center of the ring. Ramazanov's heading out, as is McCulley. Good third man in the ring for this uh, first fight of the night. Questions? That's us. A man of few words, Marcos Rosales. <laughs> Well, one thing about these rematches is that, you know, both guys know what they need to do. I mean, they've done their homework with their trainers. Uh, they know what they're getting in the ring with. Uh, as I recall, all these fights were close, so there's nobody going in the ring right now overconfident. Both men prepared, and they know what they're going to deal with. Ready? Fight! And we're set to go. The first of ten rounds for the Draka Intercontinental Super Light Heavyweight Belt.
good lead leg by McCulley. This is a 10 round fight, as you can see, the guys are just feeling each other out. They've got 10, 10 rounds to, to win this thing, and they're not going to rush it at the beginning. McCauley is down. Well, that should be a score. Good point awarded for Ramazana. So McCulley needs to be putting a little more pressure on him. He lost the last time. Stop! Stop! Why uh, Rosales moved him out of that clinch? Both fighters were kicking and punching. Right. Uh, you know, in this style of fighting, you've got to allow them at least, I believe, at least a second or two to uh, establish if they can if they can successfully score a takedown. You can't break it as soon as they lock up. McCauley on the offensive, and he's taken down again by Ramazanov, and that's the one thing, and you look back at their fight in uh, January, McCauley a little careless on, uh, on how he approached Ramazanov. That's been keeping a lot of the American fighters a little bit uh, disoriented, this takedown. You know, he wanted to come in, McCauley wanted to come in, use some hands, and uh, Ramazanov just dropped down and, and took him down, double leg takedown. Final seconds of this first round. Sean's got to know he's down. Both see, fighters down. There'll be no points awarded there. Well, you see, even the Russian, uh, he still keeps control, even though he's going down with uh, the other fighter. He's still in control. Two points. And he did score with that takedown. Well, a bit of a surprise there. The Ramazanov got a couple of points, and both of them tumbled to the mat. Well, like I said, though, he seemed to be in control yeah. on the way down. And, 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 uh, I imagine the referees have been schooled with the Draka rules, and, and they take they take that as a score. He did go down with him, but he was the one in control. Yeah, you see McCulley uh, being talked to by his team, Carrillo. Now watch the take down. Ramazanov just lifts his leg. Takes his left leg out from under him. McCulley goes down. Automatic point takedown at least. Yeah, there's nothing fancy about no. that. There, it's just basically a, a double leg uh, takedown. And unless the American fighters train this way, they're going to be caught off guard uh, more and more with these uh, Russian takedowns. I don't know if you were schooling the Americans on, uh, on how to to get involved in the grappling and the takedowns, what would be the easiest way to school them? Well, one thing you gotta do is when you get inside, you gotta drop your center of gravity. You can't stay straight up because we could see them, they'll go to go down and, to, and sweep the leg out or they'll grab the leg and actually just lift you up. So you've got to keep your center of gravity down low when you come inside. On the outside, it's pretty much a striking game. There's no takedowns uh, where they are right now. This is basically looks like uh, pure kickboxing here. It's only on the inside that uh, they're susceptible. Yeah. Well, McCauley should, he should stay right about at this range, Blinky. I think if he, if he uses a long-range fighting, he's, he's going to win. I, I bumped into him in the restroom right before the fight, guys. And he told me, this fight, I'm going to fight a smarter fight. He said, I came out last time. I came charging after him. I got a little tired towards the end of the fight. I'm going to pace myself a little more and try to be a little more strategic. And it really looks like what he's doing, but at the same time, he can't be too tentative. And, and especially when you get in those clinches earlier, he was getting taken down. Those are big points against him. You can't get lax when you get in them clinches. Not in Draka, you can't. Well, that looked like he, he Sean might have pulled out a takedown at, at that point. Uh, I don't know if the referee's going to give him a point. Uh, Hearing the referee, Marcos no. Rosales, saying no takedown from the knees. So you can't, this can't be like a leg dive, I guess, from what I'm hearing. Well, that's what it looked like. Uh, uh, 
Sean was on the ground when he went, when he got the takedown, therefore it didn't count. Well, good leg attack by McCulley there. And I think McCulley has to stay there. He landed another right leg at the time. That's what's going to wear Ramazan down if he can continue to wear that left thigh out of Ramazan. Sean! Well, that looked like one of those uh, rodeo takedowns where they take the bull down and just, just muscle them down. And he got one. A two-point takedown for Sean McCulley. Nice right hand right over where I'm sitting. Nice little three little uh, punch combination. Not big punches, but it looked like the type of punches that would give him his distance so he can unload later on in the fight. And it looked very dangerous to me what Sean was doing, that leaning over, reaching to grab. That looks very dangerous to me. You can walk right into something. Ramazan up now beginning to use that left leg as a jab. We saw it earlier in that round, that uh, front ball kick he was using as a jab to keep Cully out of range. Two in the books, eight to go for the Draka Intercontinental Super Light Heavyweight title. I think Sean McCulley kind of came back in that second round and did much better showing than he did in the first round. Well, definitely on the inside when they went to clinch up, Don, McCulley was there and, in fact, in fact scored that takedown. Well, this is the one where the referee, Marcos Rosales, said no takedown because it was a knee, a knee dive. But after that, later in the round, he did an effective two-point takedown. And that's where McCulley's really going to have to be on top of his game because, you know, when you're not used to them takedown, guys, you know, mentally, you, you just go to sleep. And, and that's where you're at the disadvantage. There's that three-punch combination I was talking about. Two of the three landed. They weren't big shots, but they were good measuring shots that did land. And there was the two-point takedown by McCulley, his only takedown uh, in this fight so far. We're set now for round three. Good lead leg by McCulley again. But another thing I'm seeing, Phil, every time McCulley throws that right uh, thigh kick to the left leg of Ramazan, Ramazan counters with a right hand. Right behind the right leg, he's letting the right hand go. And that's a dangerous counter. thing. You could definitely run into that if he, if he lands that right. And Ramazan now turning southpaw because obviously the leg kick is starting to bother him. Well, that's a sure sign of a fighter's being, as you well know, Blinky, he's being affected by the leg kicks when they start switching up like that. We can file that under the category of body language, huh? Right leg by McCulley, and that stung Ram Ramazana. He's he's landed several of them in this bout already. Rosales is warning McCulley to watch the groin area with his kicks. Well, it's much more common in kickboxing than boxing for the groin to be struck because you've got two people lifting their leg up in the air and uh, and kicking. So it's. Uh, Happens quite often, attempted, unintentionally. Attempted back kick there by Ramazan that was a little short, but I'll tell you, if he can get the measuring distance on that back kick with the heel of the foot, he can do a lot of damage. Great counter kick by McCulley, and that takes Ramazan off down. I think that hurt his leg, too. Indeed. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts doing a little more southpaw. And that got him right in the ankle area. And referee Rosales awarded two points to McCauley for that takedown. We're in round three. Now we've got a timeout uh, going to be called. And Rosales is going to, I believe, take a point away. One point. One point away from McCulley for a groin kick. Well, I, I really didn't see it. I, I didn't see the groin kick. It, uh, well, from my perspective over here, Don, it caught him right on the cup. 
And in fact, was uh, referee Marcos Gonzalez was right on that. And as we've seen earlier, he was warned twice, actually. Well, I, I think he's going to have to be careful because right at the end, it looked like, yeah, gonna, as I look at Ramazan, limping back to the corner. I don't think they're intentional. You know, like you said earlier, Don, a lot of times with the kicking, there's a lot more low blows going on than when you're just punching. Well, you know, Benny, as I recall, uh, the unintentional ones hurt just as bad. You better believe it. Sometimes they even hurt more. <laughs> I've got Ramazan off a little bit ahead at this point. Um, Sean's going to have to uh, utilize a little more aggression and uh, score a few more takedowns inside if he doesn't go for a knockout of some kind. Well, well I'll tell you, Don, I mean, look, looking at the fight overall, no one's really taken charge. There's not been one real telling blow landed other than the leg kicks that McCauley's been been landing to the left thigh of Ramazan, but Ramazan has been effective with the takedowns, and now with a point taken away from McCauley, I'd agree with you that Ramazan is, uh, has the edge in this bout so far. This is a much more uh, aggressive McCauley than we saw back in January. Catches a left hand from Ramazan off, kicks him to the inside of the thigh. And he's getting dangerously close to getting another point taken away. Well, he's going for those legs. You know, he knows that's been his strong point so far, and I, and I guess he's he's trying to keep the pressure on his legs. Hey, one, one thing that I noticed about McCauley on that last uh, onslaught of punches, that he had his chin right up in the air, and that could cost him a lot. Uh, as you know, Don, you can't carry that chin high in the air like that. Not with the right hands that Ramazan throws. No, it only takes one, one punch to turn the fight around. They're right above us now. McCulley and Ramazana now back out. This is round four. Oh, big right hand. And that's that very same counter that I was talking about earlier. As soon as McCulley makes a motion, he's going to have to faint or, 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 or fake somehow before he makes that uh, an initial move because I, I, I feel he'll continue to run into right hands unless he's got a little more movement uh, on the way in because he's getting timed with that counter right. Spinning back fist lands on the chin of McCulley. McCulley now with a little bit of a mouse forming under that left eye. Boy, he just seems to be short arming every one of his punches. McCulley unquestionably his biggest weapon in this fight has been his leg attack. And he's able to do it even from inside like this, which is unusual. With good torque on it, by the way. It wasn't like he was just tapping. He was landing right with the shin, uh, bone right on the very thigh. And not till the third time did, did Ramazan make an adjustment and kind of turn his leg in. There it is again. He is really effectively using that uh, low kick to the left leg of Ramazanov. Ramazanov appeared as if he might have hurt his uh, left elbow, the inside of his left elbow right there at the end of uh, that fourth round. And Blinky, how do you see it through four? Well, I'll tell you, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and give Ramazan the slight edge. edge. He's been countering with some good, crisp right hands that have probably been, other than the leg kicks that McCulley's been landing, have been the other telling blow of the fight. Uh, the, the initial takedowns that he's acquired early in the fight, along with the point that was taken from McCulley, is giving Ramazan an edge. I'd like to see the pace picked up now as we move towards the second half of the fight. And so go ahead, Phil, and take it right back. All right, thanks, Blinky. You know, Tom Blinky brings up an interesting point, and that is McCulley really has been effective, but only as a one-dimensional fighter. He's been effective with his legs, but really has been short-arming just about every one of his punches. But if you kill the leg, the, the body will fall. It's just like in boxing. When you kill the body, the head will fall. You kill the leg, the whole body falls. So uh, it's still early in this fight. We're going in the fifth round, and there's plenty of time for McCulley to uh, continue this damage on that leg. McCulley on the left in the black, now circling to the right. Ramazan, Ramazanov in the center of that logo. Starting to see a little swell now on the left eye of McCulley. You see Ramazanov really putting pressure, trying to land that right hand. I think he wants to finish it because that leg is bothering him. 
southpaw earlier when he turned southpaw was really the telltale sign, Don, that those leg kicks are taking their toll. And like you said earlier, you know, you cut the tree down low. So if McCulloch can, can sustain that, that attack to the thigh, but he's got to come back with something behind it. I'd like to see him come back with a left hook behind that right leg because all he's throwing is that one shot, and I don't think that's going to win him the fight. Uh, he's going to have to start getting them hands go just like he tried to do right now inside. And he better be careful with his head up like that because he could walk right into one of those right hands by Ramazanov. Action in round five. These light heavyweights scheduled for 10. Spinning back fist caught Ramazanov with his uh, forearm. Big overhand left by Ramazanov. Well, McCauley's kept those hands down and his head up uh, quite a bit in the fight. And in the long range, you can get away with it if you're using your legs. But when you let a fighter just step in there and land a right hand, uh, it's very dangerous what he's doing right now with his hands low like this. Unlike in their first go around back in January, Ramazanov here, as we reach the halfway point of this fight, Don, appears to me to be exhausted. Yeah, he does seem a little more uh, winded than Macaulay so far. Of course, he's winging these big punches here. Spinning back fist landed, but uh, didn't have a lot on it. And you know, the conditioning needed uh, between these fighters when they get inside, there's that back fist from Macaulay now that landed, and that was with the, actually with the forearm. Yeah, which is illegal. That, that's actually, I didn't see that the first time around. That's why slow motion is so good. I wish all the judges could see slow motion. But but um, seeing them working on the, on the eyes of Macaulay in his corner, I know that the left eye, now the right eye is starting to swell a little. Ramazan Ramazan hails from Russia. 25 wins, three losses and a draw. 18 of those 25 wins coming by knockout. Nice back leg uh, sweep by McCauley, and he's landed that a couple of times. I'd like to see McCauley at least begin to pop that left jab and get some good distance so he can come back with something behind it. It's been just, and there looked like a nice hip throw. I don't know if a referee Marcus Rosales will call that, but it looked like a good hip throw to me. Yeah, I think that's, that's going to be a score, and he didn't go down, so it could be three points. Two points. That's two. And this is what makes Draka so interesting. I mean, you cannot relax for a second. You know, in, in the sport of boxing and kickboxing, a lot of time, once you have your distance, you can relax. Or a lot of times when you get inside for, with a clinch, you can kind of rest. But in Draka, you've got to be prepared for the throw or the grappling. And that's where it gets uh, the conditioning even is needed that much more. Like, for example, right here, that's energy. That's condition that you need to sustain that type of effort throughout a fight. I believe another good takedown by uh, McCulley. One point. One point for McCulley here in round five. Back in round six. Oh, McCulley, good back leg kick there. He's scoring with the legs, but uh, there's no doubt um, he's getting uh, bested with the hands. He's getting outboxed in there. Ball kick back to McCulley up, tries to spin out of the corner. Ramazana tries the uppercut, short arms it. McCulley tired now, gets hit with an overhand right, and Ramazana goes down on his own. That'll be a point for McCulley. Two points for McCulley. Now things are heating up here in round six. Overhand right by Ramazana. And that's the biggest right hand of the fight right over me, guys. And the mouthpiece of McCulley almost came flying out of his, his mouth on that right hand. Yeah, I think he's still suffering a little bit. His eye is swelled up. That was a knockdown right there. 
On top of that, you have McCauley, who's bleeding from, the, from his left nostril, taking the count on one knee. Final the 10 seconds of this sixth round. Just missed with that right hand. And that's the end of round six. And a big round for Ramazan Ramazana. Open, open, open. Now we talked about McCulley not being able to make a living and win this championship, uh, Don, with his legs alone. And there was a good indication as he tried to move in and sweep. He got hit by a couple of devastating right hands. Is right. If you're going to be hitting those leg kicks, you better be ready for a counter with the hands. You can't just concentrate on those legs and forget that your opponent's got hands and he's going to be hitting you. And as we look at the corner of Macaulay feverishly, they're, they're exploiting, they're, they're employing him to, to get out there and take care of business. You look at his left eye, we got a, got a problem with the left eye, and here's that big right hand, and that was just right off the right eye of Macaulay as he went down on his back. You know, Macaulay rolled over very slowly on that one. As we look at his nostril also now bleeding, they've not been able to get that under control in the corner, and I'm sure his corner has some concerns, but they're also saying, come on, let's get in this fight, Sean. McCulley and Ramazanov out for round seven. Well, Ramazanov kind of turned it back around his way that last round. I mean, he kind of uh, successfully countered, oh, good shot, uh, countered the uh, leg kicks with the hands successfully. That'll be a two-point takedown, I believe, from McCulley. Now they're going to award the point to Ramazana. Well, I'll tell you, Phil, it seems to me that McCulley's the tired of the two, the more tired. Uh, Ramazanov seems to have caught a second win, and uh, he's really taking control of this fight now. Anything can happen, though. These are big guys, and it only takes one punch or a kick. Turn it around. Nice front kick with the left leg of the body of McCullough. And those will take it out of you, too. I, I've thrown those a few times, Don. McCullough awarded a point here. But he needs a whole bunch more. Another takedown for McCulley. McCulley's got a kind of a nice little move. He gets behind his opponent, just kind of like sits down. It's almost like a counter move. Ramazanov gets off balance. McCulley circles around him, and as you say, grabs him around the waist and just pulls him down on top of him. Good left hand followed by an overhand right lane. Ramazanov again on the move, offensively right in McCulley's corner. McCulley tries to spin out, delivers the left hand, follows it with the right leg. You would normally expect the American to be doing the boxing, but Ramazanov is really successfully beating uh, McCulley to the punch there. On the inside, he, he's scoring. Ramazanov's left leg is uh, really hurting him. It's going to hurt worse in the morning, Phil. <laughs> Good chopping left hand, follows with another left hand, double right. Well, McCulley dead tired. I think they're both showing some wear and tear. <laughs> Al McCulley's his shining moment in round seven was the takedown of Ramazan Ramazana. But that man right there from Russia, I believe at this point, has this fight well in hand. Yeah, he's still ahead, but here's a slick little move I like here. This get behind your man, hook his leg, and uh, just roll him down. Good for a point. There's but, that left-right combination by Ramazanov. Right, you got you to gotta wonder how these judges are scoring it, though. Those are the hands, you know. 
he's just consistently outboxing McCulley on the inside there. And you hit it right on the nose in the latter seconds of round seven, Don, when you were talking about if, if a fighter was going to have superior boxing skills, you might expect it to be the American, Sean McCulley, not so. Not in this fight anyway. Uh, uh, traditionally, the kickboxers in America have dominated kickboxing as much with their hands as their feet. This is round eight. Sean looks like he's got his second win. He's looking fresher. He looks like better than he did in round one. You took the words right out of my mouth, Don. I see that he came out with a little more vigor, a little more bounce in his legs I, this round. I, I want the water he's drinking. Walks Ran into, into a, a straight left hand. Nice counter. Well, he, he might have scored with that takedown. He got behind him again, though. Point for McCulley to open this eighth round. And you know, McCulley's been chipping away with them one pointers now the, the last two, three rounds. It's going to be real interesting to see how the judges are calling this between the takedowns, the hands that are very being dominated by Ramazanov, and then the leg kicks that are being thrown by McCulley. Well, judging is not an objective, it's a subjective thing. It depends on the, the eye of the beholder. Boy, McCulley just with no defense at all against the uh, punching attack of Ramazana. He's got no kicking jab, he's got no punching jab. Ramazana just walking in and delivering anything he wants. Yeah, it looks like McCulley's just content to let him get inside and then he attempts a takedown. Great left hand by McCulley. Lands on the chin of Ramazanov. And that's the best punch for McCulley of the night. By far. By far the best punch. There's the there's the damaging leg kicks that he's been landing all night. And I see a dangerous thing that uh, Ramazanov is doing. He lowered that left hand to try to block his leg. And that's dangerous because you can shoot a roundhouse right up to the head. And down he goes again. He's got it patented. I think he's got a... a a takedown move there that has worked every time tonight. He slips behind his opponent, he just sits down, and the opponent comes with him. That's a good point. It's almost, a, as I said earlier, it's kind of a counter move. He lets Ramazanov overload the right hand, circles behind him, grabs him, takes him down. Two points more for Sean McCulley here in round eight. That's it, round eight, drawn to a close, and it was a good round for McCulley. Ramazan, Ramazan up, I said at the end of round seven, he looked like an exhausted fighter, and uh, he still doesn't look like he's uh, caught his wind here at the end of round eight. Look at well, McCulley, there's that straight left hand. Yeah, good, good shot, his best of the night. But really, that's not what did it for him in this round. You know, I think he turned things around here with the uh, the takedown, not with the punch. Ramazanov was able to weather the storm of that punch, although it was the best one McCulley's landed tonight. But uh, really, I think he's dominated with the leg kick and with the, the, that little sweet little move he gets behind his opponent, pulls him to the ground. I still have unofficially Don and Blanky. I still have Ramazanov slightly ahead. How do you see it, Don? Uh, you know what? It, it's pretty even in my eyes because I, I think McCauley made a good comeback then, and it, it is close. It's very close. Well, from my side of the ring over here, I, I'm telling you, I'm looking real hard at the points that McCauley has been accumulating round after round on those takedowns, and that is very surprising, being that uh, Ramazanov, uh, the, the more experienced rocker fighter, you think he had more of the takedowns on the inside, but it's been McCauley taking that initiative. Early in the fight, Ramazanov was the one that was taking advantage of the, of the clinches for the knockdowns. Now it's McCauley. And also, uh, Ramazanov has been scoring well with the hands. He's been dominating. Oh, yes, he has. He's landed the, uh, by looking at the face of Sean McCauley, you can see right there that Ram and there's a defensive sidekick by Ramazanov. Blinky, I'm wondering, do we have these fighters mixed up, though? <laughs> the Russian fighter's doing the boxing. The American fighter's scoring the takedowns. 
Well, I'll tell you, they both learned from each other the last fight, I yes, guess. Yes, they did. I think that's what they did. They went to school. And I'm looking at the left leg right here of Ramazanov, and it and it's starting to get pretty purple. You can't do. I can see from this angle, and, and you know he has taken a pounding there to the legs as he took one to the back leg right there. Well, you can see he's very tentative getting in there. Uh oh! Watch out! See, they only allow him about a second, and if they don't score a clean takedown, it's a break. That's so dangerous running in like that, like McCulley does. He just runs in for the technique. It's kind of like a bull in Papalona. You can run right into a punch or a kick that way. Rosales wanting McCulley not to use the head. There's a good back leg kick to the outside of the thigh against Ramazanov, and we've got nine down and one to go. I'd be very, very surprised if this uh, were not an extremely close fight. Let's go across the ring to Blinky Rodriguez. Blinky? Well, I'll tell you, Phil, I'm glad I'm not judging it. From the looks of what I can see here, we know that McCulley's been very effective with the leg attack. We know that Ramanazov has been very effective with his hands, just looking at the face of Sean McCulley. But during the last three, four rounds, we've seen McCulley take advantage of those takedowns. He has not fallen asleep on the clinch. It's been Ramazan that has been the one falling asleep on that clinch. And as you can see now, there's a nice defensive sidekick also by Ramazan. But McCulley is coming on. I see the fight very close. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to be these next rounds that are going to be deciding factor. Back to you, Phil. Well, they've only got one left. It's Ramazanov and Sean McCulley. And I called that last round even. So it's still up in the air in my book. Uh, of course, I haven't been the best at scoring these events, but uh, <laughs> but it's, it's anybody's game right now. Whoever would win this round decisively, I, I believe it can take the decision. Well, if I'm in McCulley's corner between rounds, I'm telling my fighter, we've got to assume you're behind at this point. You've got to come out and, as you said, Don, decisively oh. win this last round. Oh, he's getting hit with some big right hands and a takedown. I believe Ramazanov is going to get some points here. He's got two. Yeah, I think he's, and he landed some good shots with the hands there, so he's way ahead so far in this round. Nice right hand right off the top of the head of McCulley by Ramazanov. And, you know, that's the other thing. We got a lot of the judges here that are from the Western Hemisphere that like them hands. So I'm sure that they're really looking at that a lot, too. Well, our first fight of the evening has been a good one. Sean McCulley from right here in the United States against Russia's Ramazan Ramazanov. These super light heavyweights in the 10th round for the Intercontinental Championship belt. Here he goes, right behind his opponent. All he needs to do is sit. And you're right, Don. He's got that down. It's a nice quick wrap around. It gets behind him and usually takes him down. But I think that's had to do with energy on this particular wrap around. Yeah, it looks like be the kind of move you got to use uh, a little bit of strength there. It's, it's kind of a power takedown. Now, these kicks won't work in the last round. No, no fighter's a champion like Ramazanov is going to quit uh, in the last round from a leg kick. Oh, well, that's another one. Cully never even saw that now, back leg coming. If I've got my rule book out, that should be a three-pointer. Well, you done. You called one right. God bless well, you, man. <laughs> you know, I've done four of these shows. It's the first one I've called right so far, so uh, my, the odds are still uh, not doing too good for me. Well, I'll tell you, Ramazanov still got gunpowder in those hands because he threw a couple that missed right now, and he loaded them up. If I'm right with my prediction, I would say now Ramazanov locked it in for himself uh, with that last round. Now McCulley with his hands in the air, he thinks he might have won it. But uh, I'm not sure he did enough in that 10th round either to offset uh, the lead that perhaps Ramazanov may have had coming into that 10th and final.
Those of you who might have noticed, Draka is very different than regular kickboxing. Those throws can really tire a fighter out in addition to that. We have a unanimous decision, ladies and gentlemen. Judge number one, Nelson Hamilton, scores about six to four. Judge number two, Cecil Peoples, scores about seven to three. And judge number three, Abe Bellardo, scores about seven to three. The winner, and still the worldwide Draka Intercontinental Super Light Heavyweight Champion in the blue corner, Ramazan Ruthless Ramazan.